tonic and osmotic. Osmotic, so hypo, osmotic. So isomotic. you got your three okay. three prefixes. Hypo, isic, and hyper. Hypo, iso, and hyper. Okay, so isotonic. And iso then you either have tonic or os. So the tennis is just the okay. shape of the cell that we were talking about? You either um, know it's going to swell up. Yeah, is it going to swell up? Is it going to cremate or that's shrink? Shrink. Or is it going to stay the same? Okay. Mm -hmm. So what do these prefixes mean? Low, same. That's high. On so the outside of above, the same, same, below. Same, below. Like hyperactive. Mm -hmm. Above active. Hypothermia. Below temperature. Okay. Break it into two parts, it's so much less confusing. Can you do one more? Okay. That is isotonic and isomotic. Mm -hmm. So, isoosmotic and isotonic. And hypo osmotic as well, or yeah. okay. mm -hmm. I would agree. Does that make sense? Why? Okay, so okay, so the first one, the isotonic, is worried only about the difference in the fluids. The tonic is that's when the membrane, so like the membrane comes in, selectively permeable membrane. Correct. Okay. That makes sense now. Si bueno? Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you good on examples? Do you feel a little... Could we do one, do one that is a little hard? Challenge. Yeah, challenge. You do that. Okay. <laughs> Give me one second. It means I have to think of one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know. Okay. Isomotic. So you think it's isoosmotic, okay? And think of what you think the answers are. So okay. you think it's isoosmotic. Mm -hmm. What about tonicity? Tonicity? It is hypertonic. Thought. Isoosmotic. What do you think? I think. First off, both wrong. <laughs> so no. First off, um, explain because so explain why you chose hypertonic, okay? Because that was one she she chose, but she wasn't sure why. So I chose it because there's a lot more sodium chloride on the outside than on the inside, and so that makes it hypertonic. Because you ignore the dextrose, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the dextrose doesn't matter because it's a penetrating particle. Okay. So this one has more, so where's the water going to flow? Outward. The water's going to flow out. So it's a hypertonic solution. So that one's correct. Yeah. Okay. Now why did you pick hyperosmotic? Osmotic. Because 5% oh. is higher on the outside than the base of what's behind. What do you mean? Sorry. 
<laughs> like, you might have said it right. I'm just trying to... Right. Um, the point nine is there, so I figured the 5% is higher, so it's hyper. So did you ignore dextrose then? I did. Don't ignore dextrose on Osweiler. <laughs> oh, okay. No. Sweet, talk about it. Did I get that right or wrong? However, however, <laughs> tonicity, okay. tonicity. What is this, os so not tonicity, sorry, osmolarity. Mm -hmm. What is this osmolarity? What's it? It's osmolarity if I said you have one mole. That's 0.9%, right? So if you had one, one mole, you'd have two osmoles, right? Oh, okay, I see what you're asking for now. Okay, yeah. Sorry if I wasn't clear. No, you're good. If I had one mole of dextrose, one mole. mole. But one osmole. One osmole. So we have 5% NaCl, okay? So that 5% is worth two osmoles. So this one is, if you will, worth more okay. than this one. If there was such thing as a $2 bill, okay? So you have 0 0.9 $1 bills out here and five $2 bills, okay? And here you have five $1 bills and 0.9 Two dollar bills. Does that kind of make sense? I'll go through it one more time. So 0.9 one dollar bills. That's what, like ninety cents? Yeah. Okay. Five two dollar bills. How many? Is that's that? Ten. Ten bucks. Okay. Five one dollar bills. Five. Five dollars. 0.9 two dollar bills. One dollar. We're just gonna say one. One dollar. Okay. So how many dollars do you have in here? Six. How many do you have out here? Ten. About 11. So this one has is hyperosmotic. There are more particles out here because these dissociate to two particles. That's not even fair. <laughs> you said to give you a really hard one, yeah. so that was... Uh, <laughs> So I got him right, I just didn't know why. I right. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> you got him right. I, I have know. to explain it myself. <laughs> but, uh, but that's so that, that, that was a hard one, okay? They probably won't ask you one like that, okay? Oh, okay? But if you really had to compare the two, like if they only told you about 5% NaCl in here and 5% dextrose out here, that's the only thing you're comparing, then the NaCl is a higher has more osmoles in it. Because the so, NaCl dissociates oh, yeah. into two osmoles. So, so, okay. Whereas dextrose does. So that's the principle behind that problem. It was a difficult problem, I know. And that's the only challenging problem I could think of. Okay. So for the most part, you just cancel out dextrose? Intimacy. Oh yeah, intimacy. Intimacy. In osmotic, you take apart the particles. You, yeah, you just count the particles that you got. Okay, so you just say so nine times two and point. Yeah, kind of, more or less. That's the, that's what you're, yeah, that's what you're gonna do. But for the most part, they won't have it that confusing. It will be yeah. just, you know, like one of them. Usually, they'll keep one the same and change one. Okay. Like I did with all the other examples. Yeah. Got it. Okay. That's why I said kind of, because you won't see it more than make you go between the two. Got it. Cool. And by they won't, from my understanding, they, they won't. won't. They won't. But now <laughs> they, if could. they do. I know how they do. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Can I erase it? Yes. Okay. Thank you. I was just looking at the textbook like this makes no sense. <laughs> it it's it's a hard Keeping osmolarity and tonicity is sometimes a very thing because the words sound very close to the same. Mm -hmm. When you look at them, you're like, they're not even spelled closely. <laughs> but when you, when you say, say them, they are very it, it sounds very similar. Yeah. yeah.